Hello. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's time for another sketchbook tour. Okay, so it's been a while since the last sketchbook tour and that's because I've been doing less physical sketches lately and over the last year, I've been doing a lot more um, digital sketches. So here's just a quick look at what I've been doing. So this is one of the only sketchbooks I finished this year. It's titled blue because, well, as you can see, and you probably already know from the thumbnail, it's all blue on the inside. It's just a little experiment that I want to try out. Just see if, I, I don't know, there's no real good artistic reason. It just seemed like a, a fun thing to do. So as an aside, a quick treat for you guys, a digital copy of this sketchbook is actually on sale in the link down below. You can just purchase like a PDF. It has the high resolution scans of uh, every page in this book, so it's like over like a hundred pages of artwork. If you want to get the sketchbook and follow along with this sketchbook tour and commentary while looking at the high res scans, um, that I think that's a really cool thing to do. It's also a really good way to support the channel. So if you do, I appreciate it. Um, but if you don't, it's okay. Um, you can just watch along with this video. So this sketchbook is a Taylor Rowney A6 artist sketchbook or designer sketchbook, I believe it's called in some places, but it's just A6, you know, 110 GSM paper, nothing special. So I started this sketchbook on the 31st of March um, and I finished it at the end of the year, actually, 31st of December, um, which took me, so that's like what, nine months exactly. Um, pretty nice timing, although I did try to push to finish this book uh, by the end of the year and well, I guess that's what happened. So I was using a lot of um, blue ink, you know, blue ballpoint pen, the high tech C and I, I was just like experimenting a lot. So early in the year, early on in the sketchbook, I was really into uh, flowers actually. Like I drew a lot of flowers and a lot of plants and just like maybe experimenting with the uh, structures of plants. That's really interesting to me. And in this one is a drawing I drew over FaceTime. You know? um, and this is the uh, pilot blue ink, Suyukusa. Uh, there's, I'll, I'll cut to a B-roll shot. I've been using this ink a lot. I really, really like the color. Here's like some uh, spaceships. I really, really like the color, but the thing is it, it bleeds. Like it's so watery, the consistency is so watery that even if you just put down a little bit of ink, it, it just bleeds like crazy compared to another type of ink, for instance. So here it was just a ultramarine gouache, I think, with like a dip pen, or not dip pen, a, a water brush, and then just brushed it in uh, and, and then just like lined over it with like blue color pencil. All right, moving on. Here is a study of a uh, rabbit's skull. Yeah, so I just wanted to study different things. This is a random choice. This one's with B, Dr. PH Martin's um, turquoise ink. So I, I had the idea of using like different shades of blue, but this is the only page in like turquoise because I felt it's not really blue, is it? It's more more green. And uh, this is like a low poly one. So I started with this and then tried to just get the very simple shapes down, kind of like, you know, like a game in-game model, right? Like a 3D model. So it's very, very simple just to understand how the forms turn. And then, you know, you slowly get a little bit more detailed and then from different angles. And then, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully you understand the subject a little bit better. Um, moving on, this is also with the uh, Pilot Blue Ink. Yeah, just like some studies of like different, you know, like power lines. And then also looking at pillars and ruins, seeing, uh, studying how things break down and, and how, you know, damage works. Because it has to make sense if you're doing um, like damage ruins and things like that, right? Uh, these are just hard surface studies. I think some of these were taken from Halo. I just wanted to understand, you know, try and absorb some stuff into my visual library some shapes and like some ways to make a square interesting basically um so yeah mech drawing what would be a uh, sketchbook without a uh, mech drawing we're gonna see a bunch of them later on but here is the first and this is another like fun little um, um i guess it's just a random mechanical thing like a ship or a part of a ship this uh, if you bought my my first art book machine song which is also available digitally i'll put it down in the link below again then you would have seen this it's i think it's the cover of the book um, yeah, more figure drawings. I just thought it would be fun to just draw people hugging slash 
chasing I draw people when it comes to like figure drawings with two characters it's always like people fighting and I thought it would be fun to just do the opposite and draw people being nice to each other for once <laughs> um spaceships cool here's another pencil uh, figure drawing sketch it's done with a colored pencil blue colored pencil so i'm trying to like you know use different types of blue and and, and maybe make it a little bit more interesting also um i find that pencils are the best for drawing figures like humans because there's a lot of i don't know it's there's a lot of uh, vitality to to pencil lines and you can get some very nice organic shapes and not have it be too crisp too clean when it comes to drawing humans especially when it comes to cross shading and, and things like that so here yeah, here here's just like another nice page of people being nice to each other as opposed to fighting and, and doing all that stuff which is what i usually draw more hard surface things i like drawing hard surface do that they don't do anything they're not specifically um what well, i don't know I have, they don't have a purpose like here's a flower wrapped in like some sci-fi thing you know whatever it's just like when my brain turns off i just draw like as long as the shapes are interesting and cool and appealing then that's that's fine with me you know it's just like my brain off type doodling max max um, more max. I think this was done on stream. So if you want to see any of the vods from the live streams that I've done so far, there's a playlist on the channel called Live. And if you click on it, um, you see vods or recordings of all the streams that I've done so far because they're all unlisted on the main channel. But yeah, I think this was done on stream too. I tried to do like that fish eye Kim Jong Gi type drawing, you know, with the fish eye lens. Uh, and and you know, no pencil under drawing is really really difficult. And having it be a scene. And having them all in place in perspective correctly in space man it's really hard more doodles another mac doodle of course okay so this is one of those like scribble pages i don't know why i did it in this sketchbook usually i would reserve drawings of this kind to be like on a post-it note or like you know one of my crappy sketchbooks like the dollar store sketchbooks that i throw away but i decided to do it here for some reason and it's because i had this digital piece that i was working on and there's like a little corner a, a little building in the corner that i couldn't figure out the design of for some reason and i just kept trying it in 3d and like, okay you know what let's just go back to basics let's just sketch it out and draw it out and figure out the design before doing it in 3d and this is like the results right and uh, and you're gonna see of course you're gonna see it here because i'm gonna edit it over the thing and you're gonna see the final thing okay cool and here is my Minecraft house. So I couldn't figure out, designing in Minecraft is really, really slow and I couldn't figure out the design of like my house or I wanted to do it bef like in advance. So I drew it out, I was like, oh, this is a nice little Minecraft house, you know, with like the chimney and there's like grass growing on the roof. And so I built it in, in Minecraft. Portrait drawings, I, 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 there was a phase that I went through where I started drawing like a lot of portraits in pencil because this is really fun. I, I actually really enjoy portraits in pencil for some reason. I think it's just because the lines are thicker. So it feels more natural and more suited to drawing human faces and the human body in general, like figure drawings. I think pencils are still kind of the best medium for, for doing stuff like that. Uh, this is one of those doodle pages. Here's a portrait of Bo Burnham. And yeah, I was just like late at night and I couldn't sleep. So it was like, 3 a.m. I guess according to this page I couldn't sleep so I I just noodled and I just like wrote down whatever I was thinking at the time and in the hopes that it would help me sleep better at night I don't know if it worked I don't remember I'm sure it does ah okay cool so here's another like portrait thing that's like it's a phase you know I was like doing it I was like having so much fun doing it these are Art Nouveau study. So this is like a tower in, I believe it's in Barcelona, but I could be wrong. Somewhere in Europe anyways. So these are like uh, Art Nouveau um, architectural um, studies because I was working on a project, again, a personal project that required Art Nouveau architecture. And so here's like a type type of artist. I was like studying some architecture studies, just like writing it down. And, and it's like a little like library I have, right? Adding it into my inventory of like, I guess arches that I can draw next time. So here's like how it's built with the bricks, how it's laid out. I think it's really cool that you can, if you have a sketchbook, you do stuff like this too. Just looking at maybe different types of chairs, different types of wheels, different types of leaves, you know, whatever you want, like different shapes of trees so that you have a collection of these things. And the next time when you need to draw trees, for example, you can always look back at your um, sketchbook and then, you know, you might forget it. So you just look back on your sketchbook and refer, use it as well, literal reference, right? Um, another another portrait 
and another like do that. I think this was also oh these are studies as well from the uh bad space battleship Yamato art book. I I still the name still escapes me the the order of the name battle space battleship Yamato twenty fourteen nine twenty something. Okay, that book. Yeah, so I was like doing a lot of like hard surface studies. You're gonna see more of that later. So here's the design of the thing that I was working on. Um, I'll go, I'm gonna cut to cut to the uh, final. So yeah, there's a lot of like uh, this is these are like the initial sketches for the building. Um, yeah, just like little notes that I write and just more observations of things I can do better or things I can do differently within the final piece. So you know, no unbroken lines and like you know how to direct the flow forward and just feedback that I give myself. It's really important that you do that. I think it's it's helpful for me at least because then I am you know sort of observing and, and doing a lot of self corrections and adjustments when I'm drawing for you no know, hopefully the next piece. Here's another thing for that that drawing. This is the entrance with like the statues and I wanted to draw like you know Art Nouveau has like a bunch of very feminine statues. It's 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 just a thing that they do. So I thought of using that and you know here's a here's a shot of that. Okay, so here are just like very loose doodles of when we were watching the Olympics, we were watching the uh, judo mixed teams finals. And I know I don't I don't really care about judo, so I I um I brought my sketchbook out and, and drew, but they move so fast, it's really hard to draw. And so I tried to just capture it as quickly as possible, like these gestures, and then like you know things like this, and then like quickly just capture the essence of it. And then maybe just detail it later on, which is what I did. You know, the shading is all done later on. Within the the whatever 20 seconds that they they held the position, it, it looks like this, right? And then, you know, you later on when you have the time, you just spend another like minute or so just making it look a little bit nicer. Flowers and a boat. Uh, there's a little note here. It says, note to self, learn to draw catamarans and aerofoils, which I later learned is called a hydrofoil because they're boat um, for, yeah, for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, flowers. I like drawing chrysanthemums. It's just a thing that I do. Peonies and chrysanthemums. My favorite flowers to draw. Uh, here I was like having tea. I was having tea, so I was just like drawing the uh, kettle that I had and my cup of tea. Um, what is this? Oh, here's also another one from the previous, you know, that Art Nouveau thing. So this is like a little overall sketch and some little, I guess, like elements from, from for that. So it was a long piece. It took me like, you know, that was what? five, six pages, seven, eight pages. Oh gosh, it's like 10 pages ago, right? So it, it was a long project. It took me a while to, to finish it. It's not finished yet, even now. Here is a uh, bunch of two spaceships. Um, it says here, I got up early to draw. I feel good today. Oh, so that was like, so I've sort of got gotten into the habit of getting up really early, like 5 a.m. Um, first thing I do is like, I try to draw, draw a little bit of whatever physically before I, I do my work and get on the computer and draw um, for real. And it just keeps me like, it just keeps me happy. So here are two drawings that I did on the train. It was a really long train, right? I knew I was gonna take like this, this the MRT or the subway. And it was like from one end of the island to the other end. So these two drawings I did on the train in 90 minutes. So it was a 90 minute train ride. Um, the background wasn't, it was just this and this, and then the background I added in later. But otherwise these two, I did on a train and I'm sure I could have done a better job if it wasn't on a moving vehicle. <laughs> More um, McDoodles, yeah. Um, yeah, this this ink, the blue is such a nice shade of blue. Like if you compare it to this one, it's just a shame that it bleeds so much on this paper because this paper is a little bit textured too, which does not help for sure. Um, and like there are there are better inks out there that are more viscous that work with this paper. It's just unfortunate that the color is so nice. I really like using it. And here is a study from the Battleship Yamato book as well. I just like, you know, find a page that I find something really cool and then I copy it exactly. And then I try to write some observations, some notes about what you're doing. And, you know, hopefully I can like download that information into my brain and I can use that um, when I do need to. Spaceship, 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 spaceship. More little Mac doodles, vehicle doodles. I think I did this in the office because I was like, oh, I'm rendering something, so I gotta wait. Let me just bring my sketchbook to do it. So these are all like done at, at, at work. Another nice sketchbook spread, you know, that's always fun. It's a shame that, you know, when these things happen, but like here in the center, but it is what it is. 
Ah, okay. So here is um okay. Ignore this. This is just whatever. I was just like a doom type prop. Um, but here is like another piece that I'm working on. It's a really exciting project that hopefully I get to talk about real soon. Um, but here's just like a quick snippet of it. Um, I was we watching Arrival with uh, my housemates again uh, outside, and so I brought you know I've watched Arrival like many many times. So I took my sketchbook out. And I started doing like frame studies of, of like compositional studies of shots that look really cool. And it's really hard to like do it really quickly because I had to like, you know, first of all, I'm watching a movie. Second of all, the frames don't last very long. So it was just like really quick drawings of like, oh, arrival spoilers, by the way. Sorry if you haven't seen it. Yeah, these were really fast and loose and just to capture the quick essence of it. Uh, also a really fun way to, you know, fill your sketchbook. You know, if you, if you haven't done it, maybe don't do it while watching the movie. Maybe just find like screenshots of a movie, take screenshots of a movie that you really like and, and do like some studies this way super fun way to sketch and, and learn about composition and like you know write some notes if you find that to be useful which i do here is more studies for that previous secret project that i can't talk about just yet yeah so these are just like patterns and shape designs for um a uh, the, the uh, an element i can't really speak, go into specifics can i like an element in the uh, piece so before you know committing it into the digital like final piece this is what i usually do always just explore some designs and some variations and, and you know find the one that works best um here are some characters ah okay so this is a um well these these are just like studies drawings of a uh, stag beetles but what i want to talk about is this this ink i bought it because i was like okay you know what i'm getting bored of the same two shades of blue so let me just buy a different shade of blue. You know, maybe that's that's gonna spice up the sketchbook a little bit. So I bought this B Dr. PH Martin Bombay ink. Um, so it says blue iridescent. I was like, oh, iridescent, that sounds cool. But it turns out that iridescent just means glittery and I do not like uh, glitter. I don't like glitter on anything. I, I hate glitter. So I ended up not using it at all, like after this. Uh, that's a shame. Um, it's, I, I also don't really like the shade of blue, but that's a different, that's a different conversation. Okay, here, so <laughs> therapy is good for you. Did I really write that? Okay, yeah, I did that while I was like having therapy. I was like, okay, I was going to therapy. I was talking to my therapist. I was like, okay, let me just draw while I talk to her. Because um, that's just something I do. It's it's a way for me to pay attention. I'm the type of person who like draws in class because it helps me pay attention. I actually focus on whatever I'm listening to better when I am drawing at the same time. Or, or like I have something to keep me occupied, something that's very low attention requiring, I guess. I don't know what, but I basic, okay, basically I pay attention better when I'm drawing and I remember stuff better when I'm drawing. So that's, that's, that's it. Here's a bunch of girls. Ah, so I went back, I went back to the uh, color, like the glitter, because it's a waste, you know, it's not cheap. Well, it's like $6, nine, it's like $12 for a bottle of like, glittery ink because it's not normal ink it's like special edition type so i was like let me just give it another chance you know i did it i did two of these i like, ah, i give up you know forget it and then the rest of this i did while i was working at an event i was working at the m3 mobile legends uh, world championships i was like doing broadcasting so i was like in the broadcast room for like the entire day for like days on end during the tournament which lasts like you know 12 hours 10 12 hours at least right so I was just like, I brought my sketchbook in and I was like doodling. But yeah, just doodles, fun, fun little things to do. This one too, I did there as well. Um, yeah, it's, you can see that I have a lot of time based on how intricate these drawings are. Like the cleaner and the tighter it is, the more time I had basically. And I had nothing but time to kill um, these as well. All right, Max, another Mac. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say. Oh, here's another new ink that I got, which is Dr. PH Martin's just straight blue ink just straight up it just says blue there's no iridescent there's no whatever you know special thing going on it's just their blue ink um which is not too different from the high tech seas ballpoint pen blue ink there's a slightly darker shade of blue here but otherwise you know it's indistinguishable but it's just i thought it'd be fun to just do it in dip pen i like drawing. i really like drawing in dip pen it's so much fun so yeah here here it is in dip pen it's basically the same color it's just different um you know the, the nib is different ah some compositional drawings this would be fun to to turn into a, a full piece which i might just do that um yeah i mean it's already basically kind of figured out fully illustrated you just have to bring it into digital photoshop or whatever and just color it and paint it out 
here are some house plants these are like my dream house plants that i can't afford to own or that i just don't have the light for it my house is just not made to to have these plants and they're really expensive so here's like a stefania erecta um a raphidophora decursiva and here's a philodendron tortum these are just like you know uh one day life goal house house plants you know because i can't afford to have children um, it's too expensive you know the economy and all that so we'll just have to settle with house plants here is a uh, jet engine a uh, rocket engine actually this is this is like I, okay so what it started out as like a soyuz rocket thruster it's like okay cool i'm gonna study a soyuz rocket thruster and i drew and i drew it down here and then i realized oh crap like the the, the reference image that i had wasn't adequate you know i didn't have enough information there it was like covered it was like too dark couldn't see anything so I was like, okay fine you know let's just look for another rocket thruster because i couldn't find an image of the same engine basically so here down here is like a like a nasa engine from like one of the apollo engines and, and so it's just like a frankenstein thing and i kind of like basically bullshitted my way through this whole drawing because i was like oh maybe this pipe connects here oh you know what this is an attachment here so it looks kind of real and it, it looks all right but it's basically all bs you know <laughs> uh character drawings i think i did this while i was like watching tv um here as well i just want to draw a robot arm and figure out you know make some stuff fun and and, and break down something so if you want to like actually get the full sketchbook there's a lot of like notes and like all these things here that may or may not be helpful to you or, or just fun to look at here are more little compositional drawings i really like doing these um it's almost like doing comic book panels in a way which is not a bad idea too if you want to like you know fill out the sketchbook uh, maybe just draw like a little one page mini comic series like maybe one spread you just do a, like a bunch of panels and then make your own comic that would be really fun to do that's a great idea here are some rocks um yeah just just rocks oh i really like try i was trying out this like cross hatching way because you know some rocks have like these like uh, textures to it where it's like almost it looks like cross hatching i think it's called like a rose stone or something like that um where that that sort of pattern you can see based on like you know the mineral buildup or whatever so i just wanted to do that that's cool it's a really nice effect um that could be applied to something else for example like this i tried using that sort of texturing uh texture shading for this and i think it, it's okay it's okay i think there's potential to it and it could be you know it could be used okay i i drew this portrait and i was like really really ugly like i really hated this portrait it was a really difficult one to do too because it was like her back is facing us and she's looking behind so her neck is like twisted at a super weird odd angle and she's like looking down and her eyes are looking down it's really hard and i had a really tough time it was a really bad portrait so i was like okay you know what screw it i'm not gonna use this page i'm, I'm just gonna like move on you know but then it's like oh that seems like a waste of paper I, and i, I want to draw on this i tr really tried drawing on this so i drew this first then i drew this i tried drawing this and i was like i can't look at this i can't every time i look at it i get demotivated like look at an ugly drawing of mine i get demotivated and it makes me not want to draw on this anymore so i was like okay let me just cover it with blue gouache let me just take some blue gouache and cover it cover it up so i don't have to ever look at this stupid portrait again and, and, and i try to do that and well it turns out my ultramarine gold wash is not exactly the most opaque so i still you can still see a little bit of it or you can still see all of it underneath the the, the uh, paint but i was like you know what after covering it up like that it doesn't look too bad anymore it actually looks kind of cool and so like you know I, I saved it in a way by just like taking a blue paint brush and just like and just get rid of it so i don't have to ever look at it so that's that's the story behind this page these are hard surface studies from the space battleship yamato uh, book a good diary book um here are some spaceships this is a fun little exercise you know how you did the, the, the draw a box thing where you have a perspective grid and then you just draw boxes in it well it's kind of like that but with spaceships basically so i laid down a nice perspective grid um you know two point perspective and then I started drawing um, spaceships within that grid. Well, I raised the grid after, so you can't see it. It's in pencil. So instead of, you know, drawing boxes, it's like doing spaceships. So they're all on the same perspective grid and they all match each other perspective wise. So that was like a little fun thing to do. And if you want to draw spaceships, why not just challenge yourself a little bit or just, you know, give yourself a fun little twist, you know, make it, put it in a perspective grid. That way you're also practicing your perspective drawing at the same time. Uh, okay, so remember I said I wanted to draw uh catamarans like you know please practice catamarans and aerofoils uh well here it is uh, it took me a long time so i feel like i'm missing something here i feel like there's something that i'm supposed to draw that i didn't then it's like oh of course boats 
So here are some racing boats. Really, really cool, actually. And here we are at the end of the sketchbook with a mech drawing, of course. The uh, head shape was very inspired by the catamaran at the back. So here is like a little thing that oh, was funny. It's like, you know what? That's a nice shape. Let me try and use it in a mech. But of course, we have to end the page with a sketchbook with a mech page. So here it is. And the last date, which was 31st of December, I drew that at the New Year's Eve uh, get together. So how lame is that, huh? Yeah, I'm that guy. Uh, that's it, you know, that's the end of the sketchbook. Here are some stickers. Oh yeah, people do that, don't they? We talk about stickers for like, on the sketchbook. So here's a McGriddle, it's a McDonald's one. Here's one that I got from buying an orange. Here is like a vaccination thing. And here is a Royal Gala Apple sticker. Yeah, I don't know, my stickers are not as cool as everyone else's. But here it is. I'm really excited to start a new sketchbook for the upcoming new year. If you have any art goals for the new year or the new sketchbook, let me know down in the comments below. I'm really excited. I'm really interested to hear what they are because I am going to be setting some for myself as well. And as always, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it, um, subscribe if you haven't. Have a nice day. Have a great 2022, everyone. It's going to be great. Congratulations for surviving 2021. I'll see you next time.